So today I'm going to be showing you how to do a flower wall for a coffee bar. I'm inspired by Elan Cafe in London and they have this gorgeous flower wall in their coffee shop. So I'm going to be doing one for at home and it's going to be very, it's much more smaller than the one in Elan Cafe. I'm going to add pictures on the side of the screen so you can see how Elan Cafe looks like. I love Elan Cafe. So basically I'm going to be doing like an at home replica one. So if you have like a small apartment or, you know, just in your home just a nice little area that you have your coffee i'm going to be showing you how to make it using very affordable products dollar tree products and you know flowers off of amazon and stuff like that i'm going to be showing you how to make a very cheap one but also very luxurious so grab your coffee grab your tea and let's do this diy video we're doing our our um, flower bar like our flower bar our coffee bar flower wall let's go off of Amazon and it's really cheap I'll have it linked down below and I'm going to be spray painting it gold and I just love it I just thought it would be perfect for this project so I'm going to be using this and again it's off of Amazon and I'm going to spray paint it gold but first coffee so it's going to be my sign that's going to go on top of the flowers you can see I have so many flowers so many flowers different types of flowers as well for this project that are sitting on my bed and I'm going to be showing you what ones I'm going to be using and um, you know where I got them from I'm not going to open the whole box because there's just so many of them and it's going to just be everywhere but I'm just going to be showing you the exact ones I have and everything will be linked down below in the description box these ones off of Amazon so these are the fastest ship ones these are high these ones ship really fast I got them like in a day and these are hydrangeas um, and basically you have to shake it out for it to get the body and um, this is actually going to speaking of body this is going to give this um whole flower board body um because it's just like i call it a filler so it just fills in um you're going to see it as i work on the project but i just love it and you you have to have these and this is what i notice all these like cafes elan cafe has these i looked deep in their picture and they definitely have these in their um flower walls and it just helps fill it in and make it just it gives it more texture so i got this off, off of amazon and you can get them as well i'm going to be using these roses here so this is the other flower i'm going to be using these are roses and i got them off of aliexpress and i love them because they have like an ombre type of look to it um so it just gives it it looks really realistic it actually looks really real um the fact that it's just not sprayed one color it's like a mixture of pinks and i just thought and i love how it comes with the green parts too so i'm going to be using these and i got like a lot of them so i can't remember how much but i'm going to link it down below how i got from the same seller on aliexpress as these peonies and i just got these dark ones here i'm not sure if i have light ones i think i just got these dark ones because i want to mix up color and i think it goes good with the roses they just look nice next to each other these plain white peonies because i think they're just gonna look good next to the hydrina flowers the fillers i got these pink light pink peonies and i'll link it down below also from aliexpress i think it's going to go really good next to the more darker panel flower i got is this one here and these are these tiny roses and i thought they're just going to add texture and also they're much more smaller than the other um, flowers that i have they're like a pinkish creamish white color and that's why i thought it's going to be perfect this is how all of them look next to each other and i just think it's perfect i paint the coffee sign and to spray paint, I'm going to be using this Rust Oleum metallic spray paint. Wow. 
just leave it out in the sun to get like air and so it can dry in the sun it's like a perfect weather for it to stay outside and dry <laughs> So what I'm going to do is use my scissors to make these tiny holes in it so the little, e um, the little edge of the stem, like the back of it, can go into it with the glue. I find this easy and I find that it holds more than just gluing it because it does have this little sharp, not sharp, but like this like pointy stem at the end of the flower. So I'm making a lot of them um, on the board randomly because anywhere literally a flower could go inside. I'm just using my scissors, be very careful so you don't hurt yourself. and taking a hot glue gun and putting the glue gun like putting the flowers through the glue just like that technically done yet there's more to do but the main parts are done and it's so full I didn't even know that I'll have this many flowers left and I use so much all of this is like hand done and put in here and yeah I still have so much no I don't have much left I have maybe like the white bag left but still it looks so good and it's so full and huge they almost look like real flowers if you really look at it Okay, so now I'm going to add the remaining parts that I purposely kept towards the end to, and they're what I call the fillers, just to fill in the middle parts that are white and that I want to look a little bit more pink, so I'm just going to like put them in there just to fill it out where my coffee sign is going to go, because I'm going to have the coffee sign starting to come together. So I think it's going to go in the middle somewhere. It almost gets lost in there. So I'm probably going to change this to neon light soon because you can almost not see this coffee sign. The flowers are so rich and full that it gets lost. So I'm going to come closer so you can see. Um, and it's probably going to go there. So I'm going to put a little bit more flowers. Like There's a gap here. So I'm going to fill that in a little bit. Um, and I'll show you. I purposely saved these tiny ones to fill in. So I'm just going to fill them wherever I see any sparse flowers. Now I'm just going in with the final part, which is adding those small flowers I showed you earlier. This is just to add fullness and texture to the flower wall and fill out all the um, sparse places that might still be there. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing that. Do this last um, because this covers any sparse place you might have. And it just adds body, it just gives it some volume and texture. So that's what I'm doing right now um, as the final part. So I hung this off camera. It was a bit tricky to hang, but, and that's why I didn't film it. But this is perfect. I love it. Came out perfect. And this is what I used to hang it. I bought this as bit, I bought this off Amazon. I'll link it down below and I just sewed it into the wall.
this video give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below let me know if you're going to be making one of these i absolutely enjoyed it now it's time to grab some coffee don't forget to share this video thank you so much for watching i hope it inspired you so much i love how this turned out it really looks like a grand cafe in my bedroom it's just gorgeous love it thank you so much for watching dolls bye Baby, sweet, these are